dramatic resignation mm. last night. Um, couldn't have come easy for you, that decision. It's not an easy decision, Martin, because uh, I feel incredibly uh, proud to be a Conservative Member of Parliament. They've been very good to me since I, I walked the floor, as they say. Difficult decision. You know, you have to live with your conscience in, in, in this job, and it's all well and good. We work down here from Monday till Thursday or Friday, and we, we're in this Westminster-type bubble, I think, you know, but at the end of the day, I have to go home every weekend and spend time in the real world with real people and judging by the reaction I've got this morning in my inbox, the vast majority of people in Ashfield stand by me. Brenda, is that the point? What we're seeing here is a difference between planet Parliament, if you like, and planet Earth, particularly in places like Bassett Law and Ashfield, where the vast majority of people in a, in a, a postcode search in the Telegraph yesterday were able to look for public opinion. Public opinion in your seats agree with what you say, even if the opposition don't, even if the media don't seem to. Yeah, and of course, got to consider the whole country. But as, as Lee's saying, you know, we've argued for these things for a number of years now. We've, we've signed other amendments for previous legislation. We've turned up and voted for various bills that have gone through. We've written articles. We've appeared on GB News talking about it. So when these amendments come wanting to do those exact things, we thought, you know what, we've, we've consistently said that we support this. It wouldn't really look right um, just because we're in a, a, a different position or in a party position at the time to suddenly go against mm -hmm. that. So I think there's a it's kind of an integrity issue there for us as much as anything. Yeah, yeah. So we felt that it was it was really important for us to actually follow that through. And it's unfortunate collective responsibility. That does mean you have mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. step away. There's no hard feelings about that at all. They're the rules. We know what the rules were and we, we decided to do that. Yeah. So that's kind of our reasoning behind it, Martin. Lee? Yeah, it's all about doing the right thing, Martin. I think, you know, I believe Brendan and I have done the right thing by voting for these amendments. I also believe that we've done the right thing by standing down in our role as deputy chairman, and because we know the rules, that them's the rules. You know, it, it is collective responsibility. But I've got no no regrets at all. I enjoyed my year. It is being deputy chairman of the party. I've been to lots of associations, helped raise lots of money for the cause, and I feel incredibly proud to have had that role. Some of the press today, um, even the conservative supporting <sighs> press, are saying that you two um, leaving such prominent roles leaves a bit of a big hole, a red a red wall shaped hole in the party. You two lads, uh, a lot of people saying, gave that working class credibility to Rishi Sunak, who lacks that common touch, is your resignation in that sense a kind of indication of the fact maybe the party's losing touch with the, the working class? No, I don't think so. We're still there. We're still within, within the Conservative Party. We're still prominent backbench MPs. We're still very, very visible through, you know, through our, through our media channels. And we, we, I mean, I'm going to carry on doing the same role. I'll carry on going to associations, speaking to people, encouraging people to sign up and find the good cause. And I'm, sure, and I'm sure Brandon will be the same. Now, we're headed towards that huge vote today. The amendments didn't get through, but there's this rebel bill. You mentioned a, an alternative rebel bill yeah. coming up, which is the bill that you guys would have wanted, yeah. would have wanted to go through. And that's um, you can appeal, but only in Rwanda. You have to be medically f unfit. You have to prove it to be able to travel. Medical uh, proof that you're over 18. This is the bill that you guys wanted, but that's not the bill that's going to get voted through, is it? No, it's not. And I think the issue with that as well, we're putting all these amendments together. And as you say, this is the kind of thing that we would maybe want to see. But the reality is you've got to have something that's also going to get through the House of Commons, that's going to get a majority in there. And you need to bring other people with you as well. And that's very, very difficult at times. But the thing that we're concerned about, there's a lot of talk about whether something's uh, tough enough or whether something's too soft, whereas actually what the debate is about is whether it works or doesn't work. Mm. And that's the main thing for us. So one thing where I think we're whichever wing of the party you are or whatever you think about it, generally people want to get those planes off the ground and they want this to work. They'll have different yeah. opinions on the best way of doing that. You see, ours was that the amendments were the best way of yeah. doing that as well. And then they're going to have a separate debate now about the uh, what remains of the bill if there are no changes to that. OK, chaps, we'll come back to you shortly if we can.